Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. So I was on yesterday and posted my mix and match box. Unfortunately, I didn't keep anything and I had some question on whether I keep anything from any box and I just wanted to show that I do. Um, today I have on a top that I um, kept from one of my stitch, stitch fixes not long ago and then I have on my Free People joggers that I kept from my trend sense. I'll show you my outfit. So this is kind of me. This is one of my go-to every day. I love these joggers. I probably should get another pair because I love them so much. They're so comfortable, and I, but I feel like they still look kind of sort of put together. Um, I had a zoo trip for my daughter today, and so I was at the zoo all day, but I was comfortable, and I was um, weather appropriate, had a jean jacket, and I felt like I looked cute, but comfy and put together. So I do keep things. Um, not long ago, I completely cleaned out my closet and took out pretty much everything. And I only kept pieces that I really loved, that I felt like I wore often, and I am just replacing stuff back in that I feel like are unique pieces that are staples in my wardrobe. And I'm going to be a little selective on it. And I get these boxes because I feel like they do give you clothes that are unique and you can't find them in a store. And so um, even though I don't keep stuff from every box, I do keep stuff occasionally and it just has to be something I love and at the right price point because we all have budgets, right? All right, so today I have a stick, stitch fix later on, but right now I have a Natalie attired. So I heard that they were sending a little something this month for moms in their box. So I think that's what this is going to be. Oh, this is so cute. It says celebrating you and it says be adventurous, which is so fitting for me. I own my own business and I've always lived by my dreams and... I think that really fits me. Oh, that's really cute. Enjoy your gift. The Nally Attire Team. Thank you. That's so sweet. Okay, here it is. It's just like a little bangle. Okay. I don't know what's in here. I do love the surprise in that. Although I did peek at my stitch fix. I can't help myself. If I know, if I can know, then I want to look. But I don't know what's in here because they don't tell you. Let's rip into it. Oh, I see pretty colors. Okay, hi Jill. The striped t-shirt also looks cute under the cardi. Everything looks cute with the shorts. I hope you're I hope this box works better than the last one. Enjoy Renee. So um, if you watch my mix and match box from yesterday, you'll know that they gave me a second chance and Natalie Tired also gave me a second chance without paying the style fee just to see if they could um, do a better job. So I'm looking at the price list right now and the total is only $210 for all one, two, three, four, five items. So that's really great. And then you also get a 20% off. So if I keep all of them, my total's only gonna be $168, which is a great price point. So we'll see if I like everything this time. There has to be one of these times that I get a five for five. I want it. I do, I really do. I wanna keep stuff. I just wanna be selective too. All right, so this is the first thing. This is really cute. I'm not hugely into florals and I have told my um, stylist in all of my boxes that but I don't mind this one that's really pretty with the pink and this little cardi which is like a nice like mauve pink it's not a bright pink um, that is another thing that I've told my stylist is that I don't love like those bright pinks I don't mind a pink if it's more like a mauve or like a purplish um, or like this dusty so the cardigan is from Layla's, which that's the, this is the first time I'm getting something from them. I've heard that name around. 
And that is cardigan, 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 $39. And then this floral top is also $39 and it's just a little tank and it looks like a good length. Oh, and it has a cute little side detail, little ruching, cute. All right, next we have a gray and white striped tee. This is so me. It's soft, it looks like a good length. I love the color, I love the sleeves. So this might be a for sure keeper. This is definitely me. Chill style. I like casual, I like chill, I like soft. All right, so this one is 29. This is by DNA Couture. I have never heard of that brand. They are soft though and I like it. All right, another Lilis. This is cute too. Gray. Gray. $39 with a little ruffle sleeve. I did just get a light gray ruffle sleeve top. We'll see though. And lastly, it's a pair of shorts. This is by Jag, Relaxed Boyfriend. These look cute. Those look like they could also be a potential. I am a little picky with shorts. I like a certain inseam, which this looks like it meets my criteria. Criteria Usually I like like five inch at least, but I don't like Bermuda. So it has to be kind of in that mid range. Just a little bit of distressing here, which I love. I like the lighter color, very soft. I think the only other thing that I have criteria on is the legs and how tight or loose they're gonna be. I like them to be just like a little tight, a little loose. <laughs> so we'll see, but they're very soft and it's definitely my style. Yay, I'm excited. This one really seems promising. All right, I'm gonna try this stuff on and show you. All right, here is the first outfit. Um, here are the shorts by Jag. They are very soft and a good length. Um, they might be a little baggy and a little saggy in the back, but they might be good for just like hanging out in the neighborhood with the girls wearing a t-shirt with them, shorts. And then here is the floral top. I don't love this on. I feel like it's a little too tight for my comfort. Um, and I usually do like more of a scoop or a v-neck. But I don't hate it. I think it's really nice. I think the colors are pretty. And I'm going to put the cardigan over. Okay, this is really comfortable. What do we think? It's very drapey, I feel like it's kind of fancy. I really like the color. I'm just not sure on the fit. I feel like it makes me look very wide. All right, same shorts. I did just put some flip flops on and here's the gray top. This definitely feels more like me. Maybe I just need to ask for t-shirts from now on. <laughs> just casual. I like it. It's very soft. All right, so I put a pair of high-waisted jeans on because I just felt like those shorts were a little too baggy for some of these more formal tops. Um, I just feel like this looks a little better. 
So here is the ruffle sleeve. And like I said, I did just get a shirt just like this. Let me see. I think it's in the dirty laundry or else I would show you, but I like it because I have one like it. <laughs> and I'm kind of liking this look of like a little bit shorter shirts with the high-waisted pants. But you could also wear it out with like a nice necklace. Recap time. So I put the gray shirt back on. I wanted to see what that looked like with jeans and I like it a lot better. So let's do recap on prices. So the Jag Alex boyfriend shorts were $59. I like them. They fit okay. They were baggy and I just don't, I don't know. I don't really need another pair of shorts. I have a couple that fit me well. And like I said, I'm trying not to add too many of one piece to my wardrobe back in since I got rid of so much stuff. Gray ruffle sleeve by Layliz is 29, no 39. This gray top that I have on is the DNA, and this one's 29. This one, which I never, I don't think I ever said the brand of this one. This is Jilly, Gilly, Jilly, Jilly, Gilly. I think it's Gilly. This one, a little too tight um, for my comfort, but this one was 39, I believe as well. Yep, 39. I did like this one. Again, I do have one that's just like this, just a lighter gray with the ruffle sleeves, a little bit shorter length, so I'm not sure. Um, and then this cardigan, $44. Like I said, if you keep all, 20% off. The total was $210. You could get everything for $168, which is a great price. I don't think I'm going to keep everything considering this, though. This is definitely me. And I'm going to real quick put this cardigan over what I have on and see if I like it any better. I do like the color. It's a nice spring color. So I do like it a little bit better over this. So maybe a consideration. And I did put my little bangle back on or on. All right, so overall, it was a good box. I felt really great about the pieces coming out of the box initially. It's always the fit that's kind of like, I'm not sure, ah, I don't know if I wanna add it to my wardrobe. So I'm gonna do my stitch fix next and we'll see what I got there. <laughs>